Hi Gemini, welcome to the Soul Song. My name is Nina. This is your November love story reading and um, we are going to look at what your relationship or your situation, whatever it may be, looks like in the month of November and what you can expect. Also, what is the advice from Spirit, okay? So... Um, I just want to throw a disclaimer out there that this is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. And I will be looking at two sides, so feel free to swap the sides if you feel that you resonate more with their side, okay? And the same applies to all cross watchers out there. You know your situation best, so don't force the messages to apply to you, okay? Take only what resonates. So let's begin with some oracle cards that I have already taken out for you. And a lot of cards actually wanted to come out. So it's going to be interesting. <laughs> so let's start with what you can look forward to this month. What is the theme? And what is the advice from Spirit? Okay. Interesting. So we have activation, strength, mountain, attachment, uh, door to value. Then we have chop wood, exchanging gifts, and higher power. Nice. Okay, so I feel like this is a mix of... Um, what you're going through as well as what the advice from spirit is the number five um card here the attachment uh, that is kind of like the devil sort of energy it's about illusions and misrepresentations is what i'm hearing okay uh i feel like uh your ad the What's likely to happen this month is that you may be dealing with somebody who brings about or who provokes certain fears within you and um, these fears may have to do with maybe abandonment issues or some kind of attachments of um, addictions that you may have in your personal life, okay? But um, the good thing is that you have the strength to overcome these challenges. Um, also, in some cases, I feel like, at least for a few of you, this attachment has to do with um, things related to money, with finances and career, okay? And uh, somehow that... Um, there's an angle of money or finances playing a role in your relationship uh, during this month, okay? And also with the exchanging gifts uh, here, I feel like uh, in some cases it is literally exchanging gifts, okay? And uh, in other cases, it is about having... Um, this is like the Six of Pentacles energy. It's about having, recognizing that both of you bring something to the table and both of you have something unique to offer to the other person. And uh, acknowledging that, accepting that and actually being uh, happy with what each of you have to offer to each other is what this reading is perhaps about. Um, chop wood is about doing the mundane things whilst you try to regain clarity, okay? Taking your mind off of mental chatter by doing things like your day-to-day -day activities, the boring mundane stuff, okay? Uh, and the good thing is that your Okay, the message that I'm getting here is that you need to trust your higher self because it is, first of all, guiding you uh, through this process, through any obstacles that you might be facing during this time. 
in your relationship and also trust your inner knowing okay your third eye is uh, lit up it is uh, helping you see through any kind of illusions or misrepresentation that you may be facing okay so keep an eye out for that <laughs> no pun intended um watch out for that and trust your inner knowing trust your uh, gut feeling your instincts okay so i'm just going to leave these cards out there and uh, we will begin with on a side note i feel like you may have um something really good coming up in your career and finances something to look forward to okay so we're starting with the overall energy and i don't know why but i'm going to put this here okay I'll explain in a moment what these placements are. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck we have the 7 of cups. Um that is what the illusion is about and being able to see through that is what the advice from spirit is, okay? So I'll just explain what the placement is like or what this layout is like. This is the overall energy between the two of you, the mutual energy. This here is their energy, your energy. This is uh their thoughts and feelings, your thoughts and feelings, their behavior, your behavior. Uh what you want from this relationship, what they want. from this relationship or from you and um this is the outcome okay so we start with what the overall energy is like so we have the strength card okay so that is uh with strength coming out twice there's certainly some kind of obstacle that both of you are trying to overcome this month okay in your relationship so there's some there's some discrepancy some something a bit off that both of you are trying to um get uh, through okay and to uh get rid of in a way and overcome this month uh this may also have to do with uh both of you trying to see what it is or where it is that you can actually personally improve yourself and gain self mastery in order to um how do i put this be your best selves okay be the best versions of yourselves in the relationship and offer uh your genuine self and everything that you can offer everything that is unique to you and um it's about uh scaling up in a way okay and also has a lot to do with your self confidence and uh your sense of identity so i feel like both of you are kind of working on that at the moment then we have the eight of pentacles this is another self mastery uh card so this person is definitely focused or concentrating on their work and that may have something to do with that door to value card that we saw there okay we'll get to that in a minute then we have the ace of swords you want to speak your mind you want to speak your truth and you also want to have clarity as much as possible 
I am hearing clear the air okay so anything that may have been uh, carpeted in a way and left to discuss on some other day that is what you would want to speak about this month is what I'm getting okay and this is this is quite a Gemini energy I mean um, swords have to do with your mental capacity your thoughts ideas your communication of the same and also about standing in your power standing in your truth okay so I feel like that is what you want or that is what you are embodying towards this person they on the other on the other hand are in a very earthy energy they are quite committed they want to work on this relationship but uh, let's see there might be some challenges here okay then we have the king of cups and the two of wands okay hmm. so this is in their thoughts and feelings I'll just get a clarifier for this. Why is the two of wands here? Yeah. Why is the two of wands here? Yeah. Okay, the four of swords. Interesting. And we get the three of wands. What is this person up to? Are they traveling? Yeah, that is quite possible. I feel like this person may have to travel somewhere or relocate somewhere for work. And uh, that also goes with their energy of the eight of pentacles focused on work perhaps building a career business or I don't know uh, some kind of a course uh, some kind of um, yeah further education whatever it may be in their case they definitely have feelings towards you okay they have warm feelings or genuine feelings towards you and they are um, quite mature and level-headed in that case but with the three of swords the two of wands and the three of wands here there's definitely something to do with um, either retreating or having to move away or exploring their options exploring their um, exploring the uh, the horizons and I feel like this doesn't have anything to do with them seeing or looking out for somebody else it has something to do with their career or with um, education or whatever may be the case okay I'm not sure which what age uh, this person is so um, that may be the reason why they are sort of thinking they're contemplating about how to work things out okay in this relationship and that is perhaps why you're seeking this clarity from this person let's see you have the queen of cups and the queen of wands a lot of court cards here how come Usually when I see these um, two queens together, it's kind of, um, <laughs> it's a bit like a battle between two people, okay, but not necessarily. Where's the king of cups here? So there is the king of cups here and the queen of cups here. So definitely reciprocating feelings, okay, and having to do with a balanced 
harmonious relationship amongst equals but there is some kind of um hmm you may also be preoccupied with thoughts about something to do with again wealth and finances perhaps a home or um you're dealing perhaps with somebody who is um like a contemporary someone who is or someone who you related to okay could be a relative as well but this has there are two tens here okay so it's like there's definitely an end to some kind of a chapter or a cycle here that you are also preoccupied with your mind your feelings are kind of preoccupied with what is happening in your personal life or you may be quite preoccupied with where this is heading okay whether this a uh, relationship can be taken to this uh stage okay which is the ultimate happy home happy family um kind of a scenario so your but there is i don't know who this person is there is definitely either you're taking the opinion of somebody else or you are kind of worried about someone else affecting your future or this person somehow has a say in or uh, what you're thinking and what you're feeling at the moment not a say in what you're thinking but they are um running in your mind okay they are you're basically preoccupied uh, by what this person is how this person is contributing to your life okay and you're definitely thinking about something that is long term something that is stable and structured something that is valuable okay it's definitely an angle of some finances and wealth creation here but okay this is quite complicated hmm all right Let's see their behavior, your behavior. <laughs> What's happening here? They have the four of swords, so they're thinking and complicating you. Uh, contemplating, sorry. You have the four of cups here. You're not buying whatever they have to say or propose to you. Okay. Yeah, we have the five of. wands and the knight of swords here why is the high priestess now i feel like they're keeping mum okay a fool again this is related to travel or starting a new life starting a new chapter turning now why is the fool king of swords so their behavior is a bit with all these wands here the two of wands the three of wands the page of wands this person is definitely on the verge or uh, on on the precipice of starting something new okay and their behavior is is um uh it's it's uh, exuding that okay it is um okay this is strange you are not buying what they're telling you is what i'm feeling okay and that is what i'm hearing and that is why you're perhaps even um having sort of a verbal fight with them or some arguments some heated discussions okay with this person and you are quite eager to speak your mind is what i was hearing initially so i feel like that is the case with you 
uh, what they're offering you perhaps is not something that you find enough what you want is something for the long haul something that is quite um, uh, stable okay conventional by the book something that is quite um, secure okay but this person i feel has a more of an adventurous spirit they want to perhaps uh, move to a different place different country and uh, relocate okay they definitely do have feelings for you that you are reciprocating to them but you um perhaps think that you might have be the only one willing to put in a lot of effort into this whereas they have more of a light-hearted kind of a I'm also getting distracted okay they may be easily like distracted by their work or they may be quite concerned about or prioritizing their work over you okay let me just put it that way but they're trying not to speak too much about it because you and they're trying to be quite um tight-lipped is what i'm hearing okay but you i think that you just you can see it through this okay you know um it's almost like you know the truth and that's why you're so eager to speak it okay and you're not buying their story is what i'm getting what they want death and the page of cups okay do they want an apology is that what they want i said that card yeah. they want some kind of a change some kind of ooh oops things just got even more complicated now what do you want okay fair enough you want to be recognized as somebody who is um and the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck so i'll just keep this here sorry about the limited space here yeah. what you want is the 6 of wands the queen of pentacles and the judgment what they want is the death card clarified by the 7 of swords and the page of cups wow okay they um okay what i'm feeling uh is what i just heard is um they want to come clean okay and they want to start over they will probably make some kind of an offer to you but it is up to you whether you want to give this person a chance or not because with the judgment card also being here what you deep down want is to go the distance with this person you want uh, a sense of victory not in a hey i won this argument kind of a way but something that both of you can work with together okay and you want to be recognized as this better or uh, significant other you want a stable solid uh, grounded relationship with this person and uh, that is what i feel uh, you are trying to um this month in the month of november you're trying to see if that is what you can get from this person or not there may be some angle of um like they probably kept some sort of secrets which i was also saying with this um behavior here so they are trying to come clean okay not necessarily about a third angle or a third party or something like that and they want to make you um some kind kind of an offer okay i'm hearing to compensate 
So I don't know what that means in your case, but it's either an apology or the warning to start over after something has perhaps um, almost uh, come to an end. But they want to transform this energy is what I'm getting. Um, I'll just ask for one more clarification. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah. I don't feel like there's any third party or anything involved here. But it is quite possible that... Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just as I said that. We have the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this third angle is more to do with this person's work. Okay, they are super committed to their work. And that could be the third angle angle here yeah we are the king of pentacles here this person is probably not keeping you as a priority they have um maybe okay in in most cases i feel like they need to perhaps travel a lot for their work and you're not happy about that you want to settle down okay you want to have a stable relationship have a happy home that kind of thing and Somehow there is someone else also in the picture here. Some other feminine energy. But um, what I'm getting is that there's a mismatch of expectations here. Uh, but they will come clean, okay? And I feel like they're going to be a little childish about it. In the sense that they text you and try to woo you and try to make things look uh, really simple even though they're not okay but they will come clean about this third angle whatever it may be in your case and whatever secrets they have been keeping from you they are going to come clean about that okay the outcome I feel like this is entirely your decision, okay? It depends on you. The Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So, that doesn't look encouraging, I know. But I feel like uh, there's going to be, you're going to have some kind of a wake-up call. Again, this, going back to this attachment here that we had seen initially. It's quite likely that this person is very attached to um, money, wealth, success, okay, finances. And because of that, they are quite focused on that rather than you, okay. Why is the Three of Swords here? I'm sorry, this doesn't look too encouraging, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, the tower. Whoa. So that's that coming clean. That is that truth being revealed, I feel. And it's not going to go down well with you. I feel like you might be quite upset over it. And justifiably so. Why is the five of pentacles here? And the six of pentacles. Okay. And the magician and the ace of pentacles. Lots of pentacles here. And the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I'm just gonna wrap up the reading here. This looks really complicated. Um... This is the energy that I was talking about here. The exchanging gifts. The six of pentacles is about balance and equality. And I feel like that is lacking in this relationship. One person is putting in way too much effort. The other person is not. Um, which is why you kind of feel abandoned. Okay. And... Uh, One sec, I'll just pull these cards away from you. Okay. 
here so i feel like your um, like i said you you're not buying their story because you feel that this person owes you a committed um balanced kind of a secure relationship whereas they are not they are kind of distracted by something else and that something else need not be somebody else but they are trying to manifest some kind of um opportunity in their life okay that has a lot to do with finances i feel like this third party in your situation is either a job or something to do with career finances and wealth and that is what is creating this rift between the two of you um i'm sorry but it feels like you're not going to like uh, whatever Uh, secrets are going to be revealed and you're not going to it's going to be hurtful it is going to be painful okay i can't lie i'm not going to lie this person is not um offering you this balanced um equal give and take kind of relationship I'm sorry. They might be taking you for a ride. Okay, in that sense. What I just heard is taking you for granted. Okay. That's not good. And this is what it is and I can completely understand why you're feeling this defensive and hurt um by this person. So uh what do i say so now we understand why you need uh, a strength to cope with this situation i'm sorry um gemini let me know if this reading resonated with you okay and uh in terms of advice again it is about trusting your own instincts your gut feelings okay and having the strength to move on or perhaps retreating from this uh situation to make a uh, a decision that is going to be best uh, for you and that's going to be in your interest okay so i wish you all the very best for the month ahead um let me know again if this uh, resonated in the comment section and uh, yeah do like share and subscribe if you feel so inclined and uh, yeah i wish you the best with this complicated situation take care and um, yeah i'll see you in another video bye bye